Hey everyone, welcome to day number two of the seven day workout challenge. I'm so excited that you're back here again with me. Today we're gonna focus on legs and booty. Throw on some light ankle weights if you have. If you don't, no problem, you can just follow along. For more long format workouts, you can also find them on my website, soulsinkbody.com. But for now, let's hop right into the workout of today. We are gonna start on the ground. Mainly everything will be on the mat today. We're just reaching that right leg in front and then just feeling this nice deep stretch. We're reaching those arms up to the sky, lengthening that core and just stretching those hips and opening up those hips before we're getting into the booty and leg workout. Take a deep inhale through the nose and on the exhale, rotate that upper body, place that left hand on your right knee and that back hand through the back. Look over with your eyes and feel this nice deep stretch. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. And slowly brush yourself back up, step back. Take a big step with the left foot in front. And then slowly on the exhale, reach those arms and legs forward. Lengthen those arms to the sky. Your neck and is relaxed. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And on the exhale, we're rotating that upper body, looking over that shoulder, feeling that deep stretch, opening up that hip. There we go. Feeling good. We're excited for today's workout. Feel booty is always one of our favorite ones. Take a deep inhale and exhale out and press yourself up. Okay, we're gonna go lay down onto the mat. The feet are hip wide apart. Your heels and foot are pressing into the ground. Roll the shoulder blades back. The arms are pushing into the ground, palms facing down. Take a deep inhale and then slowly tilt this pelvis. Squeeze those glutes. I want you to think about those muscles and then come into a glute bridge right here. Squeeze those legs, squeeze those glutes and then slowly lower down and lift back up. We are just warming up that booty, activating those glutes right here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. And hold it here for 10. Nine, really squeeze that butt, squeeze that booty. I want you to think about those muscles, sink that mind, sink that body. For six, five, four, three, two, and one. Reach those arms up to the sky. Palms are facing each other, tiny little pulses. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then slowly, bone by bone, we're rolling back to the ground and reach the arms next to your body. This time I want you to shift all that weight to the right side. Bring that left knee into a tabletop. Take a deep inhale and on the exhale, come back into that glute bridge, but that left leg is into that tabletop right here. Now I want you to lower down the leg, tap the toe, come back, extend the leg long. Tap down, extend long for eight, seven, squeeze that right booty, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hold it here, tiny little pulses, press through that right heel, give it all. I know that leg is shaking for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and slowly lower down. Bring the left knee to the ground. Now bring the right leg into a tabletop, same thing. Roll those shoulders back, so really press those shoulders into the ground. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And on the exhale, come back into that glute bridge. Now we're lowering down the leg and extend it to the ceiling. 90 degree angle, tap the toe and extend. Tap the toe and extend. 
four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. Tiny little pulses, press through that left heel for 10, nine. That right leg is into that tabletop. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And slowly roll back down. Okay, I want you to place those heels together, toes apart, come into that Pilates V. Reach those arms up to the sky. Now take a deep inhale on the exhale. I want you to tilt the pelvis and then bone by bone, come back to this glute bridge but this time those heels are together. Now we're slowly coming down with the hips and press back up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Really squeeze those glutes. We're also working inner ties right here. Four, three, two, and one. Hold it up here, really squeeze. We're opening up the arms in and out into a T and back. Squeeze those legs, keep the hips high for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And slowly lower down. And roll over to one side, press yourself up. We're here on the left side. Bring the left elbow onto the ground, coming into a side plank onto our knees. Your right arm is onto your right hip. Open up that chest, pull those abdominals in. Now come into a slow hip dip, and when you're coming up, I want you to lift that right leg up. So hip dip and up. We're just activating that glute right here. Four, six, five. Keep it slow and controlled. Four, three, two, and one. And lower down, press yourself up, going straight into the other side. Again, come onto that side plank on the right elbow. Left arm is on top of the hip. Open up that chest. Now slowly lower down the hips and reach the left leg up. Lower down, working a little bit of core right here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And press yourself back up, come to your all fours. We're coming quickly into a little child's pose. Just stretch that upper body out, take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And come to your all fours, roll those shoulder blades back. Now I want you to lift that left knee or hover it a couple inches off to the ground. Take a deep inhale. On the exhale, I want you to extend it long and bring the knee in. Extend long and bring in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Little left legs here with a lengthened leg, straight leg. There we go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on to your elbows, bend that knee 90 degree angle, flex that toe, tiny little presses up, slow and controlled. So these are not our pulses yet. They're a little bit bigger than a pulses, but still this motion is controlled and very small. Four, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hold it up here, tiny little pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, and one. Bring the knee in. Now place that left elbow onto the ground so your right elbow stays. We're opening up that leg to the left and then slowly lowering down for 10, nine. And every time that leg opens up, I want you to give that butt a little extra squeeze. Like give it that little extra attention what is going to activate those muscles and work them for six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Hold it open here, tiny circles forward for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And reverse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two and one and lower down. Come back to that child's pose. Get those hips, give that upper body a nice little stretch. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. One more time. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And slowly roll that upper body back up. I'm going to switch sides quickly. You can stay the same side at home. And we're going into the other side. So again, coming into our all fours, coming into a couple cat cows right here, just stretching that spine, stretching that back, maybe loosen up any tension you're holding into that upper body. Come to a neutral spine, roll the shoulder blades back, eyes are in front of you. Now, the right knee hovers a couple inches off to the ground, take a deep inhale, and on the exhale, it reaches long and come back in. Squeeze those glutes for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here, flex that foot, tiny little pulses for 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come onto those elbows, bend that knee 90 degree angle, flex the foot, and then small little presses up and down. So we're not pulsing right here. We're just pressing a couple inches up and a couple inches down. Keep this motion slow and controlled for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it up here. Tiny little pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come back in. Place that right hand onto the ground. And now I want you to open up to the right side and really squeeze that glute and lower down for 10, nine. Every time that leg comes up, we're giving that butt a little extra squeeze. <laughs> Seven, six, we're almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one, hold it here, tiny little circles forward. It is an orange shape, so keep it small. Six, five, four, three, two, and one, and reverse for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And come back down, we're coming onto our back. We are done with all the hard work and getting into our stretches. Place the right leg on top of the left. Grab underneath that left knee and pull it towards your chest. Feel this nice stretch into that right glute, into that hip. It's probably feel gonna be really good because we kick that butt. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. And place the left leg on top of the right and pull that right knee towards your chest. Take a deep inhale through the nose 
and exhale through the mouth. And my favorite one, grab your feet, coming into your happy baby right here. Let those hips fall to the outside. Let those knees fall open, open up. And you can maybe move a little from left to right, whatever feels good here. And bring the legs in, roll over to one side, press yourself up. And you are all done with today's workout. I am so happy for joining me today and I will see you tomorrow. And again, if you wanna experience more of these long firm workouts or shorter low impact workouts, I have them on my own platform, SoulSync Body. You can start a free trial right now. You can sign up, try it out for seven days, get a taste of it. And um, yeah, I will maybe see you there.